In this video, we will be looking at how to apply Sokotoa to right angle triangles to find sides and angles. Students often ask, what is the point of trigonometry? Well, the GCSE its uses are limited. But later on, trigonometry is very important in the fields of design and architecture, from clothes to buildings. It also governs the tides of the sea and x-rays used in hospitals. Firstly, we need to remember the acronym SOKOTOA. When I was at school, I was taught this politically incorrect sentence. Some old hag cracked all her teeth on apples. Some people just like to learn the word SOKOTOA, but some people can't spell the word SOKOTOA, which doesn't help. A useful way of writing SOKOTOA is in triangles, as you may have met for speed, distance and time. They work in the same way, so if you want to work out H in the SO triangle, you cover it up and divide O by S, where S stands for sine X. H is the hypotenuse, the longest side of the right angle triangle. O is the opposite, found opposite the labelled angle. A is the adjacent, and it's adjacent to both the labelled angle and the right angle. S stands for sine, C stands for cosine, and T stands for tangent. And now for a few simple steps using Sokotoa to find a side of an angle. Step 1. Label the two relevant sides of your right angle triangle, O, A, and or H. In this triangle, we have 78 metres, which is the hypotenuse, and D, which is the adjacent. Step 2. Select the appropriate formula from sine, cos, or tan. We have the adjacent and hypotenuse already, so we need cos. Step 3. Substitute into the formula, multiplying or dividing as appropriate and using the inverse function when finding an angle. So, let's find some missing stuff. In our first example, we've already decided to use cos. Covering up the a, we have a equals cos x times h. Substituting, we have cos 26 degrees times 78. Make sure your calculator is in degrees, and we get 70.1059, which rounds to 70.1 meters, correct to three significant figures. In our second example, we have the opposite and the adjacent. So we need TOA. The unknown is the adjacent again, but this time when we cover up A, we have to divide. The formula is A equals O divided by tan X, and substituting, we have 42 divided by tan 70, which is 15.2867. This rounds to 15.3 metres. We ought to find an angle before we go. In this final example, we have the adjacent and hypotenuse, so we need ka again. When finding an angle, we cover up the s, the c, or the t. So we get cos x equals a over h, or 43 over 57. On the calculator, press shift, then cos, then we do our division, and we get an angle of 41.0 degrees to 3sf. That's how you do Sokotoa.